హలో గైస్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఓఎల్ డబ్ల్యూ వన్ లైన్ వాచ్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద టాపిక్ హోమోలోగస్ ఆర్గాన్స్ హోమోలోగస్ ఆర్గాన్స్ మీన్స్ ద ఆర్గనిజమ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ద డిసిమిలర్ ఫంక్షన్ అండ్ సేమ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ద ఆర్గనిజమ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ద సేమ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ అండ్ డిసిమిలర్ ఇన్ ద ఫంక్షన్ ఈజ్ నోన్ యాజ్ హోమోలోగస్ ఆర్గాన్స్ ద బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు ద హోమోలోగస్ ఆర్గాన్స్ వి హ్యావ్ టు నో అబౌట్ అన్ ఎవల్యూషన్ what is an evolution evolution means the revolutionary changes that occurs in the species from one generation to the another generation in other terms we can call, uh, say it as from one ancestors to the another ancestors means uh, for suppose we can take a chalk the production of the chalk we take the mixture of um, powder and um, machineries are there but when coming to the homologous organs this is based on a evolution and or organizations and the exhibitions of the homologous organs is nothing but a study called homology homology is the study of homologous organs in this we have to know about the homologous organs that which has an a dis- uh, dissimilar function and the similar structure the examples which are exhibited in this homologous organs are the appendages of an vertebrate uh, vertebrates the vertebrates are nothing but uh, the vertebral column present in a an organism all comes under a vertebrates examples of an homologous organs are fore limbs of a horse flippers of a whale and paw of a cat and there are many more examples in the homologous organs then coming to the homologous organs we have to know a preface about an evolution as we said earlier the evolutionary changes that occurs in a gene or in a species the uh, the changes that which gradually increases the from the ancestors is known as an homologous organs then we can study the anatomy of an homologous organs here in the anatomy in the anatomy of an homology in the anatomy of an homology we can see that the appendages of a homologous organs that which means the flappers of a wheel and a paw of a cat and a hand limb of a hind limb of a humans and these all come under the homologous organs we all tends to about Uh, uh, which evolution does so homologous organs this homologous organs show a divergent evolution what is mean by a divergent evolution we all know about an evolution but we don't know about an divergent evolution but let's think about a divergent evolution once again here see the evolution is divided into the two stages uh, one is a divergent evolution and uh, a convergent evolution where does we see a divergent evolution we all does we all have any doubts about divergent evolution and convergent evolution and we have tens about and many more confusions between these two uh, evolutions we know only particular uh, particulars about an evolution and overall uh, assumptions about an evolution that which gradually changes of an a species but what is an a divergent evolution divergent evolution means it has the similar structure it has the similar structure but different in an functions different in an uh, functions here see in 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 a simple terms we can say it as in the divergent evolution the common ancestors the common ancestors means for we take an uh, example as, as an elephant in the previous ancestors of an elephant are two but the following generations also follows the two the following generations also follows by the two ancestors the again another generation is coming into the next f1 generation here in the homologous organs we known about the vertebrates of an appendages of an man hand when we see uh, a human hand there are the many vertebrates present in the human hand limb 
when we observe the four limb of a uh, four limb of a horse or flappers of a whale the same evolution exhibit in the same uh, evolutionary changes occurs in the same organisms the organisms which are having the same homology means the study of homology is no uh, the study of homologous organs is known as homology here homologous organs have the common pattern change of evolution common pattern change of evolution here we know that in the divergent evolution the ancestors are passing from one generation to the another generation uh, and here the species and the genes are passing from the one generation to the another generation then wh why we are thinking about an evolution there are two types of evolution the divergent evolution and the convergent evolution here it explains the all vertebrates might have the common ancestors here might have the same common ancestors even though the external forms of an a homologous organs when we check into these two then coming to the second type analogous organs here we know we known about homologous organs and the divergent evolution and how the ancestors are passing from one generation to the another generation then next the second uh, type of organs is the analogous organs what is the analogous organs these are the evidences of an anatomical change and anatomical evidences from the evolution what are the anatomical evidences from the evolution we know the evolution means in this preface of the video which uh, we know about the, what is an evolution it is in a gradual change in the occurrence of a species it is a gradual change in the occurrence of a species but what is an analogous organ that is entirely different uh, between the homologous and analogous organs here analogous organs show the convergent evolution we know about the divergent evolution and what is about the convergent evolution convergent evolution means the same ancestors are different and the habitat and the niche was same for suppose we take an examples of these two we can known as the uh, mo many more examples of these homologous and analogous organs are we seen here see the four limbs of a whale and a cat horse and many more examples in the homologous organs then coming to the analogous organs then coming to the analogous organs here the organisms which have the dissimilar function and the same processes here the organisms are very different and the design designated structures and the uh, structure of a, an organism design and similar here in the analogous organs the best examples are wings of a butterfly butterfly and wings of a bird the study of analogous organs is known as an analogy the study of an analogous organs is known as an analogy here when we when we compare between the two organisms that uh, butterfly and a bird the, there has an a common ancestral stages that it shows the same ancestor see here uh, wings of a butterfly and a wings of a bird when we see a bird it flies with an a wings it flies with an a wings when we see a butterfly in the starting stage it is a caterpillar and then it forms into an a wings as an a butterfly here see the organs which has the dissimilar function and origin and perform the same function it performs the same function in an organism analogous organs suggest it mainly suggests the convergent evolution we know that very convergent evolution is it exhibit the same and uh, uh, for suppose uh, let take an example about a uh, snakes and an earthworm the same uh, when we observe these two the morphological structure is same one is a uh, very tall and one is very short in this the evolutionary changes which look like as a same which looks like as a same and entirely different and the habitat and the niche were gathered uh, were stayed in a particular habitat it is known as the analogous organs we know about the homologous and an analogous organs these are the basical ev uh, 
evidences of an anatomical change in the evidences of an evolution in the evolutionary changes in the an evolution it takes an uh, evidences from the organisms these are the anatomical differences among the organisms let me discuss in the next video about atavistic organs and vestigial organs thank you